Welcome back to the channel. If you're returning to the channel, you're awesome. And if this is your first time to the channel, you could be awesome too. All you have to do is subscribe. All right, so me and my friend James, there's a picture of him. Me and James, we have this tradition where every time we go to the beer store, the liquor store, he'll buy me a beer. And it's not just any kind of beer. It's a beer that he thinks would be disgusting or look gross or, or whatever it is. And he just wants to watch me taste it. He's already a beer drinker and I love beer. So it makes sense. But he wasn't going to let the coronavirus get in the way of our tradition. So he went to the liquor store yesterday, had an employee help him pick out some beers, and he brought them over to my house. And we're going to see what these beers are like. So the beer I'm going to do in this video is Flying Monkey Sparkle Puff. And um, we're going to take a, just take a look at this can for a second. Take a look at that. That is a beautiful can. That It's honestly awesome. I, I love it. Um, Flying Monkey does a lot of stuff like this. I've drank some of their beers before. I've never drank this one. So we're going, we're going to go dive into this. But before I do, let's go in a little bit about the beer. So, why am I shaking it? I read online, it's advised to shake it 15 minutes before drinking. I really hope that's not a joke. If you head over to beeradvocate.com, you'll see that the score of this beer is 90, which on the website is outstanding, and it's ranked 7,147 amongst all beers. Okay, I didn't point this out at the beginning, but this beer has a 10.2 alcohol percentage. 10.2. Who the hell is drinking a beer that's 10.2 alcohol? This is going to be some gnarly shit. All right, here we go. Love that sound. It's got to take a smell. It's got a smell going. Can't really smell anything, but my nose is all messed up anyways. Around line, it's kind of like a tangy thing. Kind of citrus, I guess. My girlfriend says it smells like cat piss. I, I really can't smell it. Galaxy Starfighter. The vendor of the universe. That's not bad at all. James is going to be very disappointed on this. <laughs> I was expecting a lot worse, and that's actually really nice. So another thing I read online is that it said expect special treats at the bottom of the can. I'm not sure that's why you shake it or not, but I'll let you know if I find something at the bottom of this can. So this is a triple IPA. It's made in Ontario. Uh, it was founded in 2004, I believe. So it is a Canadian beer, which is... Makes it even more awesome, especially that it's in Ontario. So this is definitely not a chugging beer. Um, I've had a couple of sips of it right now, and I've been drinking it pretty fast, and my body, I don't think, is reacting to it too well. It's not accepting it, I guess. Um, still going, though. This beer is definitely the ultimate pre-drinking beer. The taste isn't bad, and if you sip on this for an hour or so, you're going to feel a buzz. I've been drinking it for maybe five minutes or so and i'm starting to feel lightheaded i got a little bit of a buzz going almost i'm getting there and i'm about halfway through the can this is some strong this is some strong beer holy crap yeah i definitely feel like i'm like three beers deep already and i'm not that far into this holy shit uh note to self eat before doing these videos so the founder of Flying Monkey, Peter Chodio, Chodo? Ch Chodio, Ch Chodio, he actually learned to brew beer as a child in his grandfather's basement. I don't hear anything at the bottom of the can. That's a good thing. I don't see anything either. I'm almost done this beer. And I think I'm almost drunk. It is insane. <laughs> I definitely got the whole illustration of this can now. The fact that one beer can make you feel this way. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole universe and woo and everything like that. It's like it's you look at the can, you're like, what the fuck? 
And then you drink and you're like, I, I got the cam. Okay, I got like a sip or two of this left and oh my god. I'm not wasted. I'm definitely feeling the buzz. And I, if you drink two of these, that will get you through the night. I'm, it's not even a joke. <sighs> and the taste is actually not that bad. It's, it's not for everyone. It's a nice taste. I like it, but not everyone will. Fly monkey, you do things right. I like you guys. Normal is weird, according to flying monkeys. Explore realms of deep dark space with rules of three in its DNA. Sparkle Puff launches with a payload of smashed summer peaches for cushions of furious multi fluff behind the force field of hops. Three times dry hop, triple the hop flavor, and thrice the aroma. The 10.2 alcohol volume of this unfiltered adventure glimmers with the epic glory of Sparkle Puff. Galaxy Starfighter, Defender of the Universe. Alright, so I just finished the cab. Very good beer. Very surprised. Um, yeah, that's definitely a beer you can get drunk on pretty quick. I would say it's a perfect brie drink beer. Um, tastes good. I didn't find any special treats at the bottom of the can. Maybe that's because I shook it though. Maybe that's what the shaking is for. But um, good beer. The uh, on the uh, the website it says it's a ninety. I I agree. It's an outstanding beer. Um, I'm gonna put James's uh, Instagram down in the description. Go check him out. Awesome dude. He sponsored this video. He's going to sponsor the next three at least. So, uh, you guys have a good one. Hit the like button. Throw some comments on there. I will reply. And subscribe. You guys have a good one.